you. Well, tomorrow marks the 62nd anniversary of the attack on Freedom Riders in Anniston, Alabama. So it was May 14th, 1961, when a white mob attacked a bus the riders were on while headed to New Orleans. Now, the Freedom Riders started as a desegregation initiative during the Civil Rights Movement. Those riding the bus during the attack were testing the enforcement of a Supreme Court decision prohibiting discrimination on interstate buses. But instead of getting police protection while making their way out of the city, they were abandoned and soon after were attacked again, this time even more violent than the last, ultimately leaving the bus ride of freedom to end in flames. The group of riders would later be evacuated and given proper medical care, thanks in part to Birmingham civil rights leader Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth. Yeah, the city of Anniston taking time today to commemorate the anniversary. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough was there and spoke one on one with an original Freedom Rider. Charles Person made the trip from the Atlanta area to Anniston this weekend to mark the 62nd anniversary of a day that forever changed his life. Person is one of two surviving original Freedom Riders. He says he remembers May 14, 1961 quite well. There was a lot of hatred uh, and a lot of name calling uh, and no desire to want to cooperate. But I find now that you have a town that people are working together. Uh, They're able to accomplish things locally. A spirit, he says, didn't exist in 1961 when he and other Freedom Riders were on a mission to test whether desegregation was really in play. The Freedom Ride was a test and many cities throughout the South failed. Uh, but the law was in our favor. Uh, another thing that people don't realize that these were regular buses and also we paid full fare. And if you know, if you pay full fare, the fare that everyone else you should be treated like everyone else, and that was not the case. And one of the things the original Freedom Riders say they always tell young people is to make it a point to come here to Anniston, Alabama, and they urge parents to help make that happen. You don't oftentimes get to meet the people who were a part of history, um, and Mr. Person was a part of history, um, a huge part. And so it's important that not only do they get to read about it, it's important for them to be able to touch it and be able to understand that it's real and it's not just in a book. Charles Person says what happened on May 14, 1961 was as real as it gets. We met with Dr. King in Atlanta before we came into to Alabama. And Dr. King told us, he says, I understand terrible things await you in Alabama. He says the word is y'all won't make it out of Alabama. And he was right. The Freedom Ride ultimately ended in Alabama, but it didn't stop those aboard from sharing their experiences with future generations. In Anniston, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.